Well, hey, G Holla, G dot Holla. Girl, G E Holla. Shout out to God here, man. Salute to you. Okay. Shout out to G Holla, reaching 1 million listeners on his podcast. Hey, a shout out to G Holla. All oh, y'all said in Taylor, shout out my guy, G Holla, of my celebrity life podcast. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on two different interviews at one time. So let me turn this down. I apologize. All right. Thank you so much. Chef B, Chef Red, I'd like to say that yeah. you definitely. You're definitely plant based. You know they had salt bay. We don't need all that salt anymore plant in our bay, bodies. Yeah, <laughs> you you you're definitely plant based. And I came today. I'm dressed in the red berries with the black. Um, if if a I salad like was a person, I, I this like is me. <laughs> I like that. Like if salad were a person, this is you. Where's this your is green me. though? This I don't is see for you. Green. Hey, I is appreciate you. Oh, oh, my eyes are green. That's about it. You know. Oh, yeah, okay, you know. okay. He got. He came with it all. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm, I'm organic. I appreciate you. I do. You know what I mean? You, look <laughs> you feel me? You feel me, Jaleesa? You too. Big shout out to you too. You're amazing too as well. Chef B, I got to ask, you know, a lot of times in our culture, the black and brown people, um, you know, divided by different terms and different, um, you know, labels yeah. that we call ourselves. A lot of times we say stuff like, I can't eat healthy. I can't do the plant food because it costs too much. But if you look yeah. at it in the long run, um, your funeral expenses, your your medical uh, bills, Bingo. as well as being Bingo. sick and living. Oh. Can you give the people some some knowledge, some jewels on? It's better to do preventative medicine by taking the yes. natural herbs that God or the Creator has already put into the ground that helps build our immune systems against these viruses, these colds, and things of that nature. If you don't mind. Oh my God, that is such. All the questions have been amazing, but I really, really appreciate this question because it speaks to something that's very personal to me, and that is my mother's health. My mom has hypertension. She's got cholesterol issues. And every day for me, I, I, I'm so blessed that I get to spend an enormous and abundant amount of time with my mom. So for me, making conscious decisions in the way that I eat and the way that I present to our people, namely, um, is really fueled by setting an example for her. So over the years, I have used my culinary work to really try to bridge that gap between, again, the misunderstandings, and I'll go a step further, the traditions, right? Like our culture, I'm not speaking about, specifically right now, I'm speaking to black culture in America, not Latin culture. We function off of uh, tradition and heritage so much. And so these are the, the foods that we eat, traditionally speaking, are because those are the foods that were given to us as servants, as slaves. And so we've just kind of modified it and perfected it and elevated it over the years and centuries. But these are foods, a lot of times, that are based on tradition. So in Hispanic culture, in Latin culture, same thing. A lot of our foods are based on what the government gave us or what was available in the bounty. So a lot of rice, a lot of beans, a lot of pork, a lot of beef. A lot of beef, so foods that are really heavy in fat, and those dish and those foods are fine. Like I'm not knocking eating oxtail or flank steak or filet mignon. Those foods are amazing and they're delicious, and I can teach you how to make them wonderfully. Um, we have to strike a balance. And so, to your point, um, one of the episodes a couple of weeks ago was called Plant Bay, and I took a very intentional moment. I paused from cooking. I didn't even have a glass of wine in my hand. I paused from cooking to specifically and intentionally address the audience and say, "Hey." Historically and traditionally, our foods have not been healthy because we deep fry foods. We all love, you know, deep fried chicken. And I'm not being stereotypical. I'm talking about from true real experience in my house. Deep fried chicken, we like ribs. We like, um, we do the pork roast in Cuba, right? An entire pig that we roast that takes hours to do. So we like all these things that are necessarily not always healthy for us. So for me, it's important to invoke health conscious, health first, because if you take care of your body now, these preventative measures, like eating with less sodium, if you're gonna do, um, I'll give you a real quick example. If you're gonna do use soy sauce, like I did for the dumplings earlier, use low sodium or even sodium free, because remember you're using seasoning like salt, like cumin, that is gonna give you salt anyway. Um, people don't realize that protein is in so many of our foods, not just meat, protein is in eggs, protein is in beans, protein is in so many of the foods that we can eat without having to get really heavy on a food that are heavy in our digestive systems like meat. Again, I'm not knocking meat, I'm just saying that if you're gonna go in that direction, that's fine. Just kind of be aware of other foods and other alternates that are there so that you can enjoy the meat without any you know, guilt down the road. 
Um, and I'll end on this point because I, I love this question. We, you and I can have a separate conversation about it. I have been a volunteer chef for No Kid Hungry for over a decade. And when I lived in Atlanta, I did every Friday, I used to cook for women who were on welfare with one to four children. And their misunderstanding was that if they only had $20 to feed two or three kids, they had to go through drive through And that saddened me, but it also gave me an opportunity to educate them on what you can do with $20. So one of the field trips that I used to do with them was to take them to a local grocery store and I would give them each $20 and I would educate them on how to shop in the grocery store. And that is on the perimeter first, because that's where you're gonna get your produce and your fresh products and, pro and foods and then kind of work your way into the middle. And also knowing how grocery stores are stocked. But there's so much that you could do with 20 bucks because those 20 bucks now is gonna save you so much money in the long run if you avoid going through the fast food, which is an easy thing to do. Um, but that's a really great question. I can get so much more into this rabbit hole with you. Uh, mm -hmm. But I think that knowledge is power. So the more you know, the better decisions you can make. But I'm, look, I'm all for greens. Like you can have collard greens all day and have turkey instead of, instead of um, ham hock. Right. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Long live to both you and Jalisa and all your endeavors Thank that you, you do. And Bless look, you. cheers. Cheers. Salute. <laughs>